Good morning. Welcome to Impact City Church. Um, let's just give God a hand. Isn't that amazing? How many have people using your hands for the Lord? My name is Amanda Welsh. I've had the privilege of working with your kiddos over the last month or so, um, trying to also help them figure out what their gifts are and how they can use them to praise God and glorify God. Um, so this morning, we're going to let them show you some of the things that they've been learning. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and welcome the early childhood kids to come up on the stage. And as I get ready, I'm going to share the scripture. So for both the early childhood and then we'll bring the older kids up later, we have a scripture and a lesson that we try to teach them um, with what they're going to be showing you today. So the scripture... Um, it's Philippians 4, 4, rejoice in the Lord always, I will say it again, rejoice. So we're trying to help the little kids understand what that word means, rejoice, and to praise God, um, and to celebrate, and this dance, as you'll see, is a very uh, celebratory dance, um, and they're going to get to show that to you this morning. So we'll let them get situated, and then we'll get started. Scripture that we did with them. 
So we shared Luke 2, 13 through 14. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, heaven and on earth peace to those who his favor rest. Sorry, I'm out of breath after dancing like that. <laughs> That's not easy for a six-month pregnant woman. <laughs> Um, so with this one, what we really wanted to focus um, is, again, sharing with them the real meaning of Christmas. Um, but the word that we focused with them on this was peace. So a lot of times it's hard to explain what exactly peace means. Um, and Silent Night, even though it may have not actually been a silent night that night, um, is one of the most peaceful Christmas songs. So our prayer, as we pray for you guys, is as they do this, that you feel peace. If you've never felt peace before, you can feel that through Jesus. Sorry, I'm still out of breath. <laughs> So I'll get down here and then we'll get started. this way. Go get Pastor Mindy.
All right, let's give him another hand. It's not easy getting up there with all the lights and the people and doing that, so they did awesome. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and welcome the first through fifth graders up. I'm going to move this back. Okay, and as they get set up, I'm going to share the scripture that they've been learning. <coughs> if you want to. So with them, we did Luke 2, 13 through 14. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those whom his favor rests. So we've also been working with them um, to teach them the true meaning of Christmas and the birth of Jesus and the story of Jesus' birth. And the main word that we focused with them on this one was peace. So we were trying to teach them that the world had been waiting for a savior and how special it was that he came because now that he came, we can have peace and we don't have to be afraid. So as we've been preparing, we've been, pre we've been praying for you all um, that as they sing and do sign language, that you would feel peace. Let's give him a hand. So we've been trying to teach them that they can use their gifts, and when they use their gifts for God, that they can change the world. So hopefully you guys felt um, the presence of the Lord and his peace with that. If you didn't see, uh, we're going to go ahead and dismiss the kids to go back to their services now. I'm going to wait for them to come off here. We have a lot of kids. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> 